what is best in life. We rejoin Sheik, or actually Emir now, again, Emir of Tabaristan. The uh, Caliph who once castrated me has granted me the Emirate of Tabaristan. And last episode through satanic healing, I am no longer a eunuch, even though I hold the title of the court eunuch of the Arabian Empire. Uh, I guess once you get that title, it's hard to shake. Uh, but nevertheless, through satanic healing, I am apparently no longer a eunuch. Uh, so I am going to search for a suitable spouse. I guess it has to be my religion group. Diplomatic range, yes. Uh, married, no. Gender, women. Search all. Are there any geniuses? And actually, there are a few. Oh, here's an 18-year-old genius and a 15-year-old genius. Temperate, proud, wroth, and Midas touched. Oh, wow. She has a great uh, stewardship skill. So, can I arrange marriage? Emira Landon is sick. Opinion, base reluctance. If I was not sick, she would marry me. Okay, that's the 18-year-old. What about, can I betroth, arrange betrothal? Emir Landon the second is sick. Oh, if I, I could only, if this malaise, hard to say what is wrong. Hopefully it's not cancer, although cancer came up under the tooltip before. Uh, okay, am I just gonna have to ride out and wait till this malaise passes? quick there are plenty of quick women i guess being oh 48 quick and attractive otherwise 39 um if i sent her a gift she's 39 and then invite her to court and then i can marry her despite her wishes it'll be my decision and 41 what are her stats and the other, the geniuses? Could I have invited them to court? I don't think so. Uh, no, I, she doesn't have a high enough opinion of me. So I will, if I search the realm. So can I arrange betrothal? No, again, because I'm sick. And she's in the realm. My vassals, though, my court can't. There are no geniuses in my court, but what women are there in my court? A 77-year-old uh, relative of mine, that would be something. Uh, Azza is one of my house. Uh, a homosexual 32-year-old. Um, has secret religion. My aunt. She has a great intrigue skill. Uh, recruit for Satan. Betrothal. She's 33. Uh, arrange marriage. And I guess she couldn't really say no. Although she's 33, she doesn't have great skills. I'll wait for that other woman to arrive in court. And I believe I am fighting a war down here for uh, possession of Sharapur. I will join your court forthwith. She is quick. And I will arrange marriage. And we will get married. She doesn't have a choice. I'll send her. I've already sent her a gift. And despite the fact that I am now secretly professing the Sunni faith, I, of course, remain dedicated to the uh, desire to restore Zoroastrianism to the land. And I'm losing two gold a month. And I will not torture the one uh, relative that remains in my dungeons. Ah, oh, I have cancer. 
Can I not heal? I'll summon a familiar. Uh, intrigue plus three, martial and intrigue. Intrigue and learning, the raven. I was hoping I could uh, stewardship and intrigue. What are my stats like now? My intrigue is high. Everything else is terrible. Uh, intrigue plus three. My stewardship, martial and intrigue. Intrigue and learning. Uh, intrigue and stewardship, the raven. Uh, my life is in your hands. I have to take a risk to try to get rid of this cancer. I am severely injured and disfigured. Uh, he informed me that he had identified the tainted tissue, which was the root of your disease, and that removing it would most likely cure you. You were most pleased and agreed to the surgery. However, in ha hindsight, you wish that she had told you that the tissue was your face. So, but did I lose the cancer? So now can... Are those women more attracted to... Uh, genius, 18 year old, yes, she will marry me, uh, resist my, oh, I should have waited to marry her because I think it's only my first wife that gets my stats combined with her, me. So I will make her, I will make my new wife. I think, oh, I thought I could, uh, I thought I could appoint her my first wife somehow. A dark divorce. Um, all right, is there another? And here's a 16-year-old, a uh, young Parvin, my kinswoman. Here's a 16-year-old. I will arrange marriage. So I have a quick wife and two genius wives. She has a negative opinion of me. I will send her a gift. And I will award her an honorary title, court musician. And actually, she has the skills to be a court tutor. It's not an honorary title. She can actually do it. Diplomacy of 18. 18, 11, 15, 12, 10, 13, 24. She's the one that I want as my first wife. I wish I had waited to get her stats. And there's one more. All right, I have a victory. So I have a 94% war score. A large merchant caravan from distance lands has arrived at the gates of my stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with me in a strange accent to grant them shelter. I will let them in. There are plots everywhere. Someone is trying to kill my son, Alandon, captain of the Quiverian band, heir to the Emirate of Tavaristan. As evening falls, the fat merchant regales us with his stories. He tells us about Hindustan. And I will accept the gift of his eunuch. Although I do not think I can gift him to China, much as I would like to. I could send an artifact, my heavenly circlet or staff of majesty. Ask for boom. I have 310. Resist my impulses to torture. News from China. The people of Tibet hang their heads in grief as their leaders return with the devastating news. Since his initial order to attack, Sakardu 
of Tibet has suffered a crushing defeat against the Tang Empire. Meanwhile, Han armies are celebrating their victory finally declared. They are bound to, along with their heavenly emperor, instill fear and many a heart for years to come. The dragon is not to be toyed with. Now I'm gaining too many holdings, but as Emir, do I hold? I can give away Alamut to someone and still maintain control of it. So this is only 98% war score. Is that going to take up? Uh, great, my wife is pregnant. 98% war score. I guess if I go to Kurdistan and attack there. And Glitter Hoof is the only one leading my army at the moment, which is disconcerting. Oh, there we go. Ymir. Alright, I've become Sheik of Shakazur, uh, Shazur, Shaharazur again. I have a new hair. I will play Sheik of Landon of Sherhazur. So did that become part of my patrimony? No, I just gave that to my son. Um, he's, But he is considered a vassal in my realm, heir to the emirate. <sighs> now, Dalem, the emir. Can I declare war yet? Uh, no, not until 867. And I have another son born. And he's quick. I will give him conscientiousness, I hope. And uh, let's see, assign guardian. What's his religion? Darn it, he's a Sunni. Uh, assign a guardian. Um, Marshal. Darn it, I don't want to give it to the Amira. I will give it to Bahar. But it's not like he, but he's stuck. He's a Sunni. And can I marry him off to someone with positive traits? Here's a strong person. My wound is finally healed. Here's another strong person. Another strong, uh, attractive. Some of them have the resist the urge. And I will probably marry her too, but there's no one with a title. She has these Sayed, these uh, claim to these titles, Kurdistan. Another son was born. training. I'll change his focus to heritage and assign a guardian who is a Zoroastrian. He might become a Zoroastrian. And now, oh, she looks good. Now my other son that I had just... And I finally have perished. I now have a new heir. If my character dies now, I will play as a land in the cruel. There's another land in the cruel. And Emir land in the second is with the Oris in paradise at age 67. He died of severe stress, well known to be prone to carnal sins. He was often unfaithful to his wife. A wicked man, Alandin, will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Emir Alandin the third Elg, a bullheaded man, Alandin Elg subjects may have a hard time getting a word in after he makes up his mind. Long live Emir Alandin the third Elg. And the captain of the Quivir band, Alandin Jaws, is a pretender. There's another Alandin Jaws, Alandin Alandin Jaws, Alandin Abul Hassan, 
and another Landon Jaws, Courtier and Taburistan. And he is already Emir Landon III, and his heir is my half-brother, captain of the Quivir Band. So be it. Let's see where we are now. What titles do I have? And I'm going to try to marry those uh, geniuses that are now the 22-year-old. Where are my courtier? My courtier geniuses, my uh, brother's ex-wives. There's some quick ones in here. All right, let me find characters. Okay, now let me make sure I get it the right one this time. Okay, she's the one with the stewardship of, oh, 24. Okay, she I will marry. Princess of the Arabian Empire. I'll arrange marriage. If I marry her first, will she become my first wife and grant me my stats? So I'll marry her. And then the court tutor. Arrange marriage. No, not the court tutor. The previous spouse. Is she dead already? No, not her. was burnt at the stake on the order of Emir Aladdin the second of Tabaristan at age 28. Oh, let's just see how this unfolds. Who gets married first? All right, so there we go. Hopefully she will be my first wife. one the other genius her her oh no I'm gonna have to set him aside a daughter was born and she's slow we'll still try to make her conscientious uh, Actually, we'll change childhood focus to heritage and give her a guardian, uh, someone who is Zoroastrian, and Prince of Arabia. My steward comes to see me one afternoon. He explains that he's devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with the foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment. The potential profits would also be great. Let's organize an expedition. Uh, the time has come to purchase pack animals for a planned merchant expedition. Strong and sturdy beasts are available at the market, but they come at a hefty price. Hire a crew of bandits to steal the animals. After a lengthy discussion about the logistics of an upcoming ritual, the court and man wants to uh, go play uh, games about time. Now, uh, yes, we'll go slay the family of innocent house people. The word has spread that I'm planning a trading expedition. A group of Amans have arrived at my court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey. If you'll allow them to come along on the journey, all right, uh, it will be an honor to have us with you. The family died last night. Finally, we constructed an idol of Balbrith from the dismembered bodies. Leaving it would uh, please Shitan more. National tax modifier, modifier plus 10. So I'm gaining three gold a month. Predictably, the local populace was upset. Quivir might come into open rebellion. 
and an opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of their false god, the Amans and Amal, are ignorant of the true state of the world, tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Isblis, uh, desecrate a temple, and uh, he accepted my marriage proposal to the Prince of the Arabian Empire. I've married into the royal family again. Um, hopefully the trading expedition will yield good profits. So I'm still hiring these. Who can I conquer? The Amans have been giving the crew nervous glares for a couple of days now and today confronted you voicing concerns about traveling with thieves and bandits. They say that Sunni faithful should not consort with people. Oh well, I'll lose some piety. Um, these are the de jure duchies. So now Kazwin Dalem. I don't have the Emir. I don't. Conquest of Dalem. Uh, my expedition has finally reached the realm of Raja II. Your steward asks what gift you shall bring forth as a token of friendship. A dozen sturdy Campbells. A chest with cloth from back home. Uh, a dozen sturdy candles. Now let's get invading Dalem. At dinner, you notice Raja, the lion heart's face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward, shoveling food in with his bare hands. Uh, please excuse him. I'm still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. Uh, I'll take a little buff, and I have open council positions. Grand Vizier. Oh, learning 27, the court physician. Uh, okay, I'll risk my Grand Vizier. My court Iman, learning 10. And I'll get him to research cultural tech in Gurgan. I'm not, still not sure if that does any good. Uh, the Sheik of Tabaristan, I will train troops in Gurgan and fabricate a claim on Bajarnid. You are walking idly around the corner of the Raja when you suddenly hear discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the Imans from the expedition engaged in wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole uh, venture. This must be stopped, and that would anger some of the Urbads. These heathens need to see the errors of their ways. I join, get the train, zealous, monthly piety plus one, Marshall plus two, 50% uh, chance. I'll take the chance of becoming zealous. And no, it doesn't look like I gain the zealous traits. The increasingly difficult negotiations between you and the Raja are suddenly interrupted when Raja slams his fists on the table. It seems like he can no longer bear your presence in the room. When you decide to leave, he shouts, miserly mule after you. I guess that's it. And that is a failure, unfortunately. The trade expedition was a failure as you didn't manage to close a deal for foreign goods. This is seen as a failure not only by you, but also by everyone in your vicinity. At least I learned something, so I got a stewardship plus one. And... I will try to engage this army. And I cut his army in half at zero lost my own troops. Now I will siege. And there's a child who lacks education focus, my daughter. Um, diplomacy, learning. Affectionate, actually we'll give her a diplomacy then. It's been a while since we had that. My daughter, she's already secretly practicing as a Zoroastrian. So, diplomacy. Yasmin and I'll try to marry him to one of the royal family of Spain, which I have done. Yes, and I successfully have married into the, I believe that's the royal family of Spain now, and that emperor. And I am sieging down Dalem. The Umayyads just got a territory. Oh, in one of my one of my former territories has gone Umayyad, and one of them has gone Mulholland. 
my salt in the moose jaws. I hope there are enough territories that I can still recover it. Gives gifts to my wives to get them to appreciate me a bit more. And slide into Gulabir to get rid of the siege. Leaving on April 4th, and I will get missed. A daughter was born. Educator. Oh, darn it. She's changed childhood focus to heritage. Assign a Zoroastrian guardian to her. And marry her off to another prince of the Arabian Empire. It's accepted. Who are these people on Abbasid Revolt? I have no truck with the Abbasid Revolt. I'm just trying to conquer a little province here, guys. Leave me alone. If you want to overthrow the Caliph, that's your business. Although I am married into his family now. I have a 99% war score against him. Oh, that's not me. Here we go, 91% war score. Okay, now I have 100% war score. And I have conquered the Sheikdom of Dalem. There have been rumors circulating the court that a vassal of Caliph Misra is sleeping with a woman other than his wives. The man cannot be a true Muslim if he has committed Zina. No, of course not. I'm sure no Muslim has ever slept with someone other than his wife. The chief Qadi will know what to do. The silence following my accusations that a vassal of Caliph Misra was committing Zina was deafening. Chief Khadib Najib asked me several questions about the accusations, the rumors I'd heard, and what I thought about the matter, which was rather flattering, uh, my opinion. But then Najib told me he wouldn't do anything about it, and I'm disappointed. So I now hold Dalem. Being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Gurgan. By paying the county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. A small donation would go a long way, of course. I'll go to Gurgan. Inspired peasantry. Now, let me just slow things down for a second. You have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you mint new coins for your realm, there is a master of the craft that you can hire. Not only will the vintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. I will debase the coins. So I gained 100 gold. Now let me pause things. My monthly balance is plus 9. I'm still hiring these. My trade post of Gurgan is what's giving me all my profits. Um, and my high stewardship skill, I think. Oh, I want my other wife to be the one uh, matching her stewardship skill with mine. 10, 13, 24, 6, 15. Come on. I, that was a terrible mistake to do that. Now, Emir Alandon. I have two children, my daughter and my great-granddaughter. I could marry someone else. Uh, but let's see what else I can conquer now. Um, the Sheikdom de Jure, the Duchy of Galan. I could create it. I control 66%, and it is a duchy, so I will create it. The Emirate of Galan, so now I hold two Emirate titles. Emirate of Tabaristan, Emirate of Galan. Now can I get close to reclaiming my shot? How close am I at reclaiming the Kingdom of Moose Jaws? I control 
37%, so I need to control three more states inside the uh, Emirative Moose Jaws. Oh, and Tabriz is inside. And Tabriz, yeah, this is the darn the Caliph holds. Um, so, the Sheikh of Magara, okay, he can only command 500 soldiers. I'll declare war. Conquest of Magara. Oh, I need 50 piety. Oh, my piety is growing at 1.48. One mosques in Demesne, piety from buildings, technology. Well, it looks like I cannot uh, re, uh, begin my conquests until I gain more piety in my kingdom. I guess I haven't been paying enough attention to the uh, Muslim mechanics any as I've been uh, busy reconquering and trying to acquire wealth. So I will look into uh, trying to develop more piety and trying to uh, reconquer Tabriz and reacquire the Sultanate of Moose Jaws next episode. That's it for this episode. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell so you receive notifications of my other videos. And have a good day.